In this video, I'm going to talk about payment processing with Kajabi. This is a system that I use for selling courses, running websites, landing pages. I run a membership on Kajabi, lots of different things. And people are wondering what payment processors you use. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I also educate people on how to design and run successful creative businesses. So I love to use Kajabi for my membership, for my courses, and for so, so much. I use it for all my email marketing as well. We're going to talk about payment processing today. However, I want to let you know that Kajabi is running a sale for this entire month. It's August of 2022, uh, where you can get three months for one payment of $99. This is a huge, wonderful deal. So use the link in the description to grab that uh, if you are seeing this within the month of August. If not, my link will still get you their best offers and a free trial for you to check it out. All right, let's go into their payment processing. So you're just going to visit your settings down here and we'll go to payment integrations. Kajabi works with Stripe and PayPal. So just depending on which one you prefer, you'll need to set up an account with that system first, and then you'll be able to connect and integrate it very easily here with Stripe. I use Stripe with another system that I use called Dubsado that's up here. And so I've made two different accounts within Stripe, one of which is called uh, Kajabi and one of which is called Dubsado and depending on where the money comes in I will be able to do everything there. One thing I'll mention is that while PayPal seems really great and a lot of people are very comfortable with it I wouldn't use it for something where you'd be really really upset if a client won a dispute against you so it's fine to use for maybe courses or memberships but if you do have something else like my invitation side of my business sometimes people are making $3,000 plus payments and I would not want to use PayPal for that because they are notorious is for siding with the consumer over the business and I would not want one of those payments to go awry. I did have a $2,500 payment accidentally disputed with Stripe and they were really helpful at getting that sorted out and getting my money back to me quickly. So I do highly recommend uh, using Stripe if you're doing a lot of higher ticket items and you're worried that anyone might make a dispute. And then once you connect it, uh, Stripe will do cumulative payments each day. I think it's every weekday. Uh, and they will take out any of their fees, which are about 2.9% right now. Uh, PayPal will just keep your money in PayPal. And then you will have the ability to either schedule kind of automatic drafts or uh, take it out and put it in your bank account whenever you're ready. Or you can keep it in PayPal if you like. Their fee right now is 3%. Uh, but those are very similar. So I wouldn't let that make your decision. I would more pay attention to what your clients are going to be used to. Um, some of my international clients have had a little bit of issue with Stripe, but it really hasn't been a huge deal and we've been able to figure that out. And then the last point about payment processing with Kajabi is that if any of your clients have issues with their payments, you are going to need to settle that kind of in Stripe. So they are able to go in for my subscription, for instance, they'll be able to go in and update their payment card if they need to. Uh, but if I ever need to process a refund or get a receipt for them or anything like that, um, I do that in Stripe. One thing you'll be able to set up um, in this customer payments section is how often your receipts are going to be uh, sent. So I send an initial purchase receipt, but they don't get one every single month just because I feel like that would be kind of annoying. Um, and then in Stripe, you can actually set up kind of reminders of when that payment is going to happen. So I do have a yearly membership. And for that subscription, I set up a reminder that says, you know, hey, you're about to get your yearly uh, subscription taken out. And that I set up through Stripe. One last thing I would recommend turning on if you're doing subscriptions or memberships with Kajabi, I have a whole video on how I do run a membership with them if you want to check that out, um, is just enabling your customers to self-cancel. Otherwise, you're going to be doing a lot of customer service, and I know it does suck when a customer cancels, but it's really helpful to do that, and you can set it up so you get notified of that in case you need to go in and revoke anything, but you can also do that through your automations. So I highly recommend just letting the customer self-cancel because I think that's going to just provide a better customer experience and they're more likely to come back later if it was an easy, seamless experience for them.
You won't see this on my demo account, but normally you'd see all of your opt-in sales, all these things that are coming in so you can keep track of it. And you can even do some great reporting on the money that's coming in from your subscriptions, from your courses, etc. So if you haven't checked out some of my other videos on Kajabi, I highly recommend it because it can do just so much more than process payments. Yes, it, it's great. And that's a big, important part of it. Uh, but it can do so much more like email marketing, landing pages and website um, events. They're even introducing some coaching things that are new and exciting. So um, I'm very excited for their this August promotion of three months for $99. And I hope that you'll check it out or whatever the latest promotion is whenever you're seeing this video by using the link in the description of this video. Thanks, everyone.